If the display is dimly lit or blank, you'll need to replace three light bulbs behind the LCD display. There's three different types to choose from, and you can find which type you need by the colour of the cap. There's a white one with a frosted glass bulb, a dark green one with a clear bulb, and a light green one which was used to replace the bulbs in this video. Start by removing the speaker grill using a plastic card to avoid damage to the plastic. And using a T20 Torx screwdriver, undo this single screw. If your screwdriver is too long, you can use a pair of pliers to loosen the screw. And then finish it off by hand. Lift the plastic from the front and work your way around the edges, releasing the plastic clips. To remove this plug, you need to push a small clip down using your thumbnail. Then you can release the harness and unplug. Depending on which type of bulb you're replacing, you can use a screwdriver or a pair of pliers. Remove the blown bulb. And fit your new one. Be sure to replace the other two bulbs. Reconnect the cable and before we screw it down into place just switch on the stereo and make sure all the bulbs are working okay. Now push the front down first. Push down the plastic clips all the way around the outside edge until it sits down nice and flat. Replace that single screw. Once the screw's done up, replace the speaker grill, putting the front end in first, and push it down until it clips down into place. And now you have a nice bright display again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I shall do my best to make some more.